Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, it's going to be the fastest map ever here on Space, a 3v3, featuring Nibbler, I think? He sent it to me anyway. Health and Wealth and Pablo Escobar and Friday are uh, regulars on my live streams on Sunday, so... Ah, not helping with the teams. Okay, so top left, we have a blue, blue Protoss. It is SSJ2. We've also got a, a green Terran named Friday. We know this guy. I've cast him a bunch. We also have a purple Terran, Doritos, which is kind of a great name, but except for the fact that he's Terran here, which is annoying. Bottom right, it's going to be a Peach-ish Protoss player named Health and Wealth. Again, member of the channel. We've got a yellow Zerg named The Ninja. And then finally, a red Zerg named Pablo Escobar, who again, I know that name. So if it's just top versus bottom, it's SSJ2, Health and Wealth, and Pablo versus Doritos, Freddy, and The Ninja, but uh, I don't know that for sure. Nibbler did not help me out with the teams when he sent this replay in, which is okay. We can figure it out. We can do that thing. Do I sound a bit under the weather? It's because I am. Because I am feeling kind of sick. A little congested. Throat's a little sore, but... Getting through, being strong. Woo, Pablo going for a two-hatch opener. Very brave of a Zerg to do that on a fastest map. Because Zergs are very scary the later the game goes on. So what we see is a lot of early attacks against Zergs, which is why we get a pool. There you go. Why the ninja's going for a pool first. <laughs> because that way he gets sunken out, he can stay alive. Actually, there's a hatch here. I lied. Hatch, then pool, which is still better than hatch, hatch. Here from Pablo. He's risking it. He's risking it for the biscuit. Obviously, Protoss are going for a lot of gateways. Nothing new there. Yeah. Ga oh, actually, gateway cannon. So he is worried about Bert being early attack. And Teresante. So nobody being super incredibly aggressive here, with the exception of our bottom right health and wealth. We'll see if he attacks anybody or what. Okay. So this means that health and wealth is not a teammate of Pablo Escobar. So crap, that doesn't help. So it's Pablo, Health and Wealth, and Friday, maybe? Again, those are the names that I know, so it would make sense if they were teammates, but we gotta watch this and figure out if that's accurate or not. Yeah, so you don't scout someone who's on your team because you have vision anyway. We got Friday attacking the ninja. Okay, so that's promising. Friday here. We got Purple scouting Friday, so Purple and the ninja are not on Friday's team. This is like an SAT question. If Friday and Ninja are not on Friday and Doritos are not on the Ninja's team, and Health and Wealth and Pablo Escobar are not on SSJ's team, then who is on Pablo's team, right? Maybe not an SAT question necessarily, but we've got some links out here from the Ninja handling it. Friday needs to probably back off. Slowlings are bad, but against unupgraded Marines, they're not too terrible. They're not the worst units in the world. Doritos is opening up mech. Two factories on the way from him. Yeah, like I said, a little bit sick, a little under the weather, but my casting voice is still here, so I'm hoping I don't lose it. Because that'd be rough. Anyway, these links are doing some work, man. Friday's in trouble, and Doritos is coming to attack Friday. Nope, here to attack the ninja. Shoot! So Doritos and the ninja are op- Oh my gosh. They're on opposite teams. Can't do this logic puzzle while still trying to figure out What's going on in this game? I can't cast it and do logic at the same time. All right, so let's go. What have we seen so far? So health and wealth is not a teammate with Pablo. And Doritos and Friday are teammates. And the ninja is not teammates, is anti-teammates with Friday. Uh, well, at least we know two, right? We've <laughs> got... Health and Wealth here, and Friday are on a team. Someone come just stand in this group, please? <laughs> Someone please just be like, come join the party, work together. Come on, SSJ, you can do it. I don't like your build, though. Your gateways are late. Yeah, you got these cannons up here, but like a run-by is very possible with Zerglings. I guess that's why you got some cannons up here, too. Okay, so we know it's not the ninja. It could be SSJ. It also could be Doritos, but he hasn't really engaged with much of anybody thus far. He, obviously, like I said, he's going the mech here. He's got vultures, engineering bay, bunkers at the front. We'll see if somebody sets up a tank here and starts firing across the way or not. Oh, so not blue. 
Okay, so it's not SSJ. So Friday and Health and Wealth are not teammates with SSJ or the Ninja. Which means they have to be... What the heck? They have to be teammates with Pablo then. Why did you scout Pablo, Health and Wealth? I am so confused. But I think that's it. I think that was it the whole time. Pablo, Health and Wealth and... Friday, our teammates. Oh yeah, look at this. Dory Toss attacking Friday, doing a little annoying Vulture Drop stuff. Bunker, is that protecting the Mineral Line well enough? Is an SCV pull to get out of here? That's for sure. So, Vulture's not doing a ton of damage in this situation, but hey. Could be. Spider Mine's getting laid. No! Oh, did that, connect? that didn't connect. It would have killed the Marines. They're too late, low HP to survive that. I love getting Spider Mines inside the enemy base. Just super duper annoying if you're dealing with that stuff. The SCVs finally come back to work. They feel safe enough to do that. Yeah, so I think we've seen we've seen Friday try to attack the Ninja and try to attack SSJ. And Purple is attacking him. So yeah, it's got to be Friday Pablo and health and wealth. Okay, good. We're just going to roll with that. No more questions. We got this thing figured out. We're done at the six minute mark. Let's roll. Mod of Hydra's on the way from Pablo. Very traditional fastest map stuff here. Additional hatcheries coming in from the Ninja. Very traditional fastest map stuff here too. And for how aggressive the opening was for Pablo, he doesn't really have much more supply than many other players here, right? He's fine. He's mid. Ah, oh, Siege Mode's up for Doritos. Marines have to get in the range to attack them without getting hit, but the tank on the other side of the wall is causing some problems here. Gotta get on out of there. Missile turret firing on the engineering bay is pretty good stuff, too. Do, 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 do. Storm is on the way from SSJ2. Again, kind of a slower build from him, but he's at 90 supply, which is more than anybody else right now. So I guess I can't complain about that. He might be going for Reaver Drops or Storm Drops or Porque... Nolos Dos. Why do we get both of them in this match here, huh? Huh. So hit that like button if you're excited for a big long macro 3v3 fastest map. Don't get many standalones of those on the channel. So thanks, Nebler, for sending that in. I do appreciate it. Optical Flare coming in from Friday. We don't see that upgrade very much. I wonder what it's for. Very, very interesting. Especially in a team game where shared vision is just so common. I don't know. Like, blinding observers is pretty good. And, like, blinding science vessels is pretty good, too. Dude, the siege tanks firing here are problematic for Friday. He's going to lose another supply depot. Shouldn't lose too many more, though. And Pablo's setting up for an attack on the ninja. And, you know, honestly, if Health and Wealth wants to join in as well... That might not be too bad. Yeah, so just kind of... Everybody chill. Nobody's dropping yet. Got some zealots cruising on down here to see what's what. Pablo takes down a health and wealth zealot who just kind of sees what's going on here. A couple bunkers. Siege tanks. going to be hard to break for Hydras for sure. So everybody's sort of just chilling. I mean, I assume we're just going to... There we go. Start seeing a ton of drops from SSJ here. He's at 260 supply, which is insane. Storm dropping, heading for Pablo... For Pablo Escobar, which if you haven't watched Narcos on Netflix, holy smokes, it's good. Narcos season one and two are amazing in Colombia. Marcos, uh, Narcos Mexico is not as good, but fine, I guess. Anyway, this is bad. So Pablo's at 59 SCVs. He's at 38 SCVs. And there's Zealots in here, too. Ah, are they going to focus down the lair? I think focusing down the lair would be pretty hot. There doesn't seem to be much responding. There we go. Hydra's are starting to come in here. Muta's flying in from the ninja. Wait, 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 wait. Is the ninja helping Pablo Escobar? Yes. No, my teams. My teams are all messed up. What is going on? The ninja is friends with Pablo Escobar. Oh. I'm utterly confused. The lair died, which does suck for Pablo. Does suck for sure. And then the mutas come in. Okay, so Ninja is not friends with Health and Wealth. who has a million cannons and Corsairs to deal with these mutas, no problem. 
And then... What the heck? Is Pablo Escobar going for an attack against SSJ? So is it Friday Health and Wealth and SSJ 2? That's gotta be the teams then. It's gotta be Pablo, the Ninja, and Doritos. Oh, nope. Doritos and the Ninja are not on the same team. What is happening right now? All right, so look. Pablo and the Ninja are attacking into somebody they know has Psionic Storm. So this is going to be a tough attack for Hydras to make happen here. 100%. Fleet Beacon is coming in here from Health and Wealth for them carriers. Also getting Reaver capacity, which is awesome stuff. These Hydras are just not going to break through. Not going to do it. Plus, uh, plus speed lots in the mix. And they've got plus one, plus one, plus one. And the Hiders have one one themselves, both the yellow ones and the red ones here. But maybe just continual pressure, a la fastest map style, might be enough to get this thing done. He's, you know, you out of storm? I don't know if you're out of storm. No, you're not out of storm. There's definitely a storm here. Maybe two. Oh, but he's Archon. I don't know that Archoning them was smart. Man, this has just been absolute push. The ninja's at 166 supply. Pablo's at 93. He's fighting hard right now. And I'm really interested to see what health and wealth is up to. He's got these zealots, but he hasn't sent them to attack anybody. He's there to defend his friend Friday, but that's about it. Hey, look, there is more storm. There's always more storm. There's always more storm. Zerglings in here, they're pretty darn good against cannons if there aren't that many of them and they can get that surround up. High Templar getting a storm off. Storm up and ugh, High Templar dying as a result here. And SSJ kind of getting super pushed right now. He's at 150 supply. Both Zergs are interested in murdering him after the damage that he did to Pablo Escobar that Pablo still hasn't fully recovered from. So the revenge, the revenge is real. And then... A drop coming in here from Health and Wealth on Doritos. And no, oh, Doritos! Reaver hits. SCV pull pretty good. Oh, he gets the main CC. No, the SCVs are coming back. No, why? Down to 27 SCVs. Oh, but the tanks clear out the Reavers, but not after the damage is done. Not until after the damage is done there. Hydra's still pushing from Pablo. He's got 2-2 two, two now. Still 1-1 one, one for the Ninja, but 174 supply. What's he, is it just more Hydras from him? What's he transitioning? I don't know. He's making some Mutalisks, though, which is nice. So Doritos and Pablo are hurt. Doritos is more hurt. Doritos is at 14. Oh, we got tank dropped, too. By Friday. Brutality. Absolutely brutal. Ooh, some lurkers in here from Pablo. Running right into cannons, though, which is not the best. Probably the worst idea. All right, so nobody seems to be helping SSJ here. Uh. <laughs> SSJ. Good thing he hasn't lost any of his probes at this stage. He's at 97 total workers. And we've kind of pittered out on making more Hydralisks. Pablo has. So he's 113 supply. Is this another... Another drop attempt here. Friday's at 61 SCVs, though, so he's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, denying upgrades on all three of these forges would be a pretty big move for sure. And then trying to drop up here. Nope, the ninja is against health and wealth. Why is this so hard for me? I'm really trying to figure out these teams. But every time I think they have them down. So health and wealth is not teammates... With the Ninja or Doritos. And he is teammates with Friday. He can't do this while trying to pay attention to casting. Oh my gosh, Doritos down to 8 SCVs, down to 6 SCVs. Down to 5 SCVs, 5 SCVs. Four Hydralisks. 
three overlords, the two forges researching, and an observer for detection of the lovers. All right, Reaver's defending. SFG says, fine, I'll do it myself. Disruption web coming in from health and wealth. That's always a fun upgrade. We don't see it a lot. We see it more in fast snap shenanigan games, that's for sure. I love these zealots have done pretty much nothing all game. They've been sitting here. They don't go to attack anyone. They don't really defend anything. I guess the intent. They don't really come back here to try to save attacks that come into Friday's base either. Very odd. Zealots have 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And Ninja needs to be working on upgrades, but he's leaking lurkers instead. And also a Guardian transition from either Pablo or the Ninja would be incredible here. Yeah, I can't, I can't figure out these teams when I'm sick is the problem right now. I mean, look, I only have three brain cells on a good day. When I'm sick, it knocks it down by about 50% to one and a half. Did I hear guardians? Did they all die? Dude, I don't know about this Mass Hydra thing against Mass Reaver. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. Stop trying to make Mass Hydra against Reaver happen. Ooh, they kill the Reaver. That's good. They're racking up them kills, though. Without a doubt. So Doritos is just having the worst day ever. He's down to 50 total supply. He's got back up to 19 workers, which is nice. Friday is just not... Attacking anyone? I guess... Sure, he's kind of attacking over the wall a little bit against Doritos, but like... That's it. Hey, didn't go for the Mutas, which is step one if you're trying to go for Guardians. And there is a Greater Spire on the way from Pablo here. Excellent. So Guardians would just completely destroy SSJ, no question about it. The Mutas are doing great against the Reavers regardless. These are expensive units, too. Reavers are 200 gas. They're really good, but they cost a bunch, for sure. They're getting distracted by the cannons. They're dying to the cannons. Oh, no. Keep. Why aren't you make Devourers? Make some of them Guardians. Okay, now he's making some of them Guardians. I guess there's some Corsairs you got to deal with. So, the combined attack here. Still, okay. Well, Guardian showed up, killed some stuff, and died. <laughs> oh, absolutely tragic. Tragic. The life of a Guardian, for sure. Big old tank drop. Oh, is it a tank Reaver combined drop against the Ninja? It certainly is. This is bad news bears. We've got devourers fighting. Siege tanks aren't even quite sure what to attack right now. Reaver just murdering every building known to man. The ninja is down to zero drones. After the combined attack of working together here by Help and Wealth and Friday, who are teammates. We are aware of this. Okay, so completely slowing down the ninja to death is pretty good stuff. Pablo Escobar needs to get his ball on the road. He's maxed out. He's trying to bring some Hydras in to help deal with, like, the Reavers and the Siege Tanks that dropped in here, but I don't know about that. Mutas from the Ninja are here. They will eventually clean up all of the Reavers, but having zero drones... Okay, he's up back to three now. He's back to three now. Boom. boom. Okay, so if, okay, okay, if Friday and Health and Wealth is enemies, 
are the Ninja, Doritos, and Pablo Escobar, then it's SSJ. So it's SSJ, Health and Wealth, and Friday who are teammates here. We got it. It only took me 20 minutes. Again, I'm sick. I apologize. I'm doing my best here. Hit that like button. You can also check out the store for Falcon Paladin merch at falconpaladin.store. Got some super cool shirts with the uh, Falcon Paladin logo for Brood War, or for StarCraft 2, or for combined Brood War and StarCraft 2. If you're into one of those things, if you're into both of those things, right? That's fun. Also, mugs and hoodies and things, too. If it's getting colder where you are, if you're in the southern hemisphere, not a bad time for a hoodie, that's for sure. We ship anywhere. You can buy stuff with your own local currency, most likely. It's a pretty cool site that Somicron has been able to set up. FalconPaladin.store. All right, the ninja is down to 57 supplies. He's got 17,000 minerals and 900 gas, though. So it could be worse. Reaver drop on Friday. Friday gets a space storm, but he's down to 35 SCVs. Extra storm to get extra SCVs. SFCVs, they're dying all over the place here. We can carriers? What are we making over here? Health and wealth? Arbiters, apparently. Okay, fine. We'll not say no to that. Mass siege take! With no vulture support, but pretty good against High Templar and Reavers, because they outrange everything. Yeah. Wait, is Friday? No! Why is Friday attacking SSJ? What in the name? What is going on here? Oof. Not dying, I promise. The ninja's taking a 12 o'clock. Okay, what? Where is my logic all messed up? Friday and health and wealth. They attacked the ninja together and Pablo Escobar and Dorito. It's like some kind of a weird free-for-all where there's alliances going on, but... Like, we don't know what the alliances are because we can't see chat. Is this... Honestly, this feels like a free-for-all. Did he call it a... I gotta check my email real quick. Are these siege tanks kind of just kick butt at the moment. Yeah, they're just uh, taking names here. Murdering all of the things. Nibbler, buddy. Replay for standalone. 53 minutes. I hope the chat comes through. It doesn't. It's a great watch. He didn't. Why do I feel like this is a free for all with temporary alliances happening? Why does that feel like th that's what this is? Well, we're on a magical mystery tour together, that's for sure. I mean, look, Friday has tried to kill Doritos. He has tried to kill S SJ. And he's tried to kill the ninja. And the ninja is allied with Pablo. So that's four people that Friday is allied against. It makes no sense. You know, I assume the yellow meant that it was a custom game where they did alliances manually for 3v3, but uh, maybe that just means free-for-all. Insane. A free-for-all fastest map. Dude, remember how SSJ has a million probes? He's got 31 now. He was at like 90. Where he's getting all sorts of murderized. But look at this look. Pablo and Friday are definitely team. Definitely... Maybe that's why he's like, I really hope the chat comes through. Because that way we would know what the alliances are. But it totally didn't. And it explains why nobody finished off Doritos if it's a free-for-all. Because... Oh my gosh. Pablo Escobar attacking health and wealth. For the first time today, SSJ2 might just be dead. Okay, decent stasis. Another decent stasis would be nice here. And he does. Okay, there we go. Four tanks each. It's about as good as you can hope for with a stasis. Oh, cloaked rates out from Doritos, though. 
who's not a toss player, mind you. But production facility is getting absolutely ripped apart for SSJ. He's not supply blocked, but I don't know how he isn't. I guess the sheer number of pylons that are up. Enough. Wait, 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 wait. See, and now, fr okay, now is Friday going to backstab? Nope. No, he's not backstabbing. He's coming in directly to kill the ninja again, which he's already done once, mind you. And never mind, everything just dies terribly here, and this drop is a miserable failure for Friday. It happens sometimes. It happens every so often. The ninja and Pablo have a combined base here at the 12 o'clock they can fall back to. If they need to, Guardians from Pablo Escobar trying to attack bottom right here against Health and Wealth. But they all get stasis into the ground. You know, as you do. Hey, the Guardians popped and they're all dying. Wait, hold on. The Corsairs are distracted. Guardians might get some extra hits out here. Hydra's on the ground too, providing a lot of support. Is there any detection? I don't think there's any detection. Yeah, they're trying to kill the Arbiter and like just absolutely getting wrecked. You gotta bring OBS with ya. In this case, it would be an Overlords, that's for sure. Hey, this Guardian survived. He's got all of two kills. What an absolute boss. SSJ is supply blocked. He's slowly getting whittled to death here by Friday and his siege tanks. 15 kills, 7 kills, 8 kills, 10 kills, 3 kills, 4 kills. Just pouring hiders in here without any overlord support at all. Pablo, you have an overlord kind of in the area. Dude, this is just... This is just somebody who has more money than they know what to do with. But hey, if the mutalisks take down the arbiters, then the cloaking's not a problem anymore. But it's still so many reavers you're running into here. The ninja might end up losing the most units in this game <laughs> if this keeps up. Continuing to send in line after line after line of Hydras. And yeah, Friday here to kill the ninja just coming through the front door. Don't mind me, I've got two two siege tanks. Are we working on 3-3? Three, three? No, yes, we are. And ship weapons too. SSJ expanding to the south where Doritos is allowing him to do it. So if Doritos and SSJ are on a team. There's too many teams. This has to be temporary alliances. I don't know why Doritos would ally himself with SSJ. Just kill him. He's going to be a threat at some point. And I don't know how much of a help he's going to be to you either. I don't know, man. Is Freddy even trying this? Is there anything in this dropship even? No. Just scouting purposes. Yeah, so Health and Wealth working together here and Friday against Ninja. Pablo Escobar is going to come in to assist. Yep, he brings his Mutalisks in. Not that great against Dragoons, especially 3-3-3 three, three, three Dragoons, but they're 3-3 three, three Muta, so they shouldn't be horrendously bad. And then SSJ does what? He just, he just ignores the battle entirely and comes down to his new home at the 6 o'clock position where he is rebuilding. Yeah, SSJ and Doritos are friends. That's something we're aware of. Pablo Escobar... Is it 2v2v2? Does that make sense? Friday and Pablo, health and wealth, and... and no, Friday and health and wealth, Pablo and the ninja, SSJ and Doritos. Oh, a 2v2v2v2 makes sense. Again, not labeled that way. I think that's what we're dealing with here, though. Oh, the drop from Doritos on health and wealth just gets stormed into oblivion. The height. Oh, okay, this is real bad. This is real bad for health and wealth all of a sudden. Where are you, Friday? You're maxed out. Your tanks have to go all the way around. The Sim City is not particularly good. Not ideal. Okay, my 2v2v2 theory is holding. Because it really seems like we're paired up, right? Pablo and 
Ninja have been paired up since the beginning. Health and Wealth and Friday have been paired up since the beginning. SSJ and Doritos haven't been, but that's only because... I don't know, they just didn't want to be, I guess. But they're definitely teamed up now. Yeah, and Mass Hydra, pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad in fastest map. Well, you're going to lose 2,000 Hydra Lisks? Probably. But if you've got enough Storm, if your enemy has enough Storm, you can handle it. Siege tanks coming in to try to save health and wealth. But there's Guardians, but there's also Goliaths to assist. Pew, pew, pew. Can't even hear that sound. Also, Valks have arrived. Maybe too many Valkyries. Maybe they overmade Valkyries. Friday did, but that's okay. Saves his butt. So Health and Wealth has still got 62 probes. He's lost some production facilities, but he's far from dead. <laughs> ah, the Wraith Ball's dying to Valkyries, though. Brr, evaporated. Removed. Removed from the game. Valkyries no longer exist in StarCraft Brood War. Guide irradiates. We've got some Defilers out. First spell casting from a Zerg player today. I mean, and then they immediately get irradiated. So that's super fun. More Devourers coming in from Pablo Escobar. He's got a ginormous sunken forest on the top side of the map, but good play. Ooh, beautiful plague, actually. Where did that Defiler come from? Oh, he was right here. He's dead now. CSI blood analysis says this is definitely Defiler blood. We're here for that. Okay, Siege Tanks at your front door is bad. Not as bad as Siege Tanks, like, here. Siege Tanks here is much worse. So here come... Okay, the Guardians... What did I say? There's Valkyries here. Oh, man. Not all the Valkyries are helping, though. They they should... Ah, plagued. But nothing's attacking them, so they're going to be all right. Oh, but the Devourers are coming in now, and now the Valkyries are in true play. Yep, Valkyrie's all dead. Meanwhile, massive tank drop from Doritos right on Friday's face. Friday gets knocked down to 20 SCVs. He has to storm the tanks to get him out of there. Can he get rid of all of them is the question. It's an 8-kill siege tank, a 2-kill siege tank. None of these guys got the big hit on the SCV ball that knocked Friday down to only 18 SCVs, is it? No. Guardian's pushing Trying to push here on Friday. He's making more Valkyries, making more science vessels. Siege tanks. Wiping out more SCVs. It wasn't safe to come here. That command center might die. It's getting repaired, though. 17 SCVs from Friday. This is... Uh, this is absolutely insane. Insane in the membrane. All right, Valkyries trying to deal with these Goliaths. Goliaths. Guardians as well as they can. Poor Valkyries trying to deal with Goliaths. Very, very sad. The DT in here. I'm assuming that's a health DT. Yeah, health DT here trying to help. Because once again, Team Zerg did not bring any detection with them. So we should have a DT down here causing us problems for the Hydras at the very least. Siege Tank's doing that too, though. The Valkyries kind of getting wiped out, and it's a very chaotic position. Here over Friday's main base. So SSJ and Doritos are at 200 and 185 supply. Pablo Escobar and uh, the Ninja are at 174 and 144. Friday and Health and Wealth are at 181 and 130. Bit of a tank drop from Doritos, trying to do his thing. Wow, this is definitely a marathon of a 2v2v2. But hey, it's a 2v2v2v2 on a fastest map. So outside of team games and 1v1s, fast like 2v2v2s and free-for-alls on fastest map can definitely last a bit of time. A spot of time, as it were. Damn, the ninja. He just loves his Hydralisks so much. He's going to win this game with Hydras. It's like, screw Mutalisks, screw Guardians. Hydras are where it's at. Hydras are the backbone of Zerg. They always have been. So what if my enemy has 13 siege tanks? So what if they've got 37 Reavers? 
going to overwhelm them with a Wing Hydra for all the day. Is this still working? Oh, there's just more here. He brought more tanks, everyone. Doritos refuses to be dead. SSJ is coming back from the dead, too. He's already maxed out somehow. I don't... What does he have that he's maxed out on? I guess shuttles and, like, probes. He's back up to 88 probes. What an absolute boss. What a macro champion SSJ is today. I wonder if the other teams are aware that he's back from the dead. That's what we're doing. Hydroling, baby. Hydro, Hydro, Ling, Ling, Ling. SSJ. Yeah, SSJ coming in to attack health and wealth. Makes sense. He's not his teammate. SSJ and Doritos working in tandem because they're teammates. Perfect. Play go! Man, these Valkyries are getting plagued a lot today. Mind control's on the way from SSJ. Might end up mind controlling an SCV and get a giant army. Carrier production from Health and Wealth if he can survive the oncoming Tank Goliath Dragoon onslaught. Which is not a guarantee at all, mind you. Trying to bring the Mass Guardian in. And yes, are these Valkyries plagued? Yeah. Do they still do full damage? Absolutely. Without question. And therefore, are the Guardians dying? For the most part, yes. As they traditionally do. <laughs> and then they just pull back to the tanks. Good micro there from Friday. Stasis on the siege tanks. Doing their very best. Doritos needs to bring some reinforcements over. He's got his own Valkyries up. Hey! SSJ remembered he has some shuttles over here. It's been a while. He finally remembered. I mean, nothing but scraptastic here today. Uh, Pablo Escobar is still sending Hydras across. The ninjas brought some Ultralisks into the play, though, which is always very fun. Dude, I think health and wealth might just be dead all of a sudden. We've got carriers out, but there's dragoons here. Are there enough dragoons to handle it is the question. I mean, SSJ for a maxed out player, I'm trying to figure out what he has exactly. It looks like he's got about four dragoons. And uh, that's about it. Like, seriously, what is his stuff? How is he maxed out? I guess he's got some zealots down here too, which is good. Yeah, Valkyries against carriers. That's what every PVT where the Protoss goes carrier. Someone's like, why didn't they make Valkyries and Wraith? They're pretty good. I don't know, man. They only exist in the fastest map. Although we have seen Wraith against carrier in a scan game. If you want to see that, if you're a Terran fan and you missed that match, let me know in the comments and I'll link you to a game where scan did go Wraiths against a carrier opening Protoss, and I want to say it was... God, was it Shuttle or Snow? Or... It was a pretty good Protoss, too. We'll see how it worked. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I remember him going for it. Hydralisks, Hydralisks all the day. So health and wealth is done. Which means Friday's in an immense amount of trouble. He's only got 89 supply, 29 SCVs. His production... Keeps getting whittled down by this endless swarm of hydralisks. Pablo, 16,000 minerals in the bank. The ninja, 5,000 resources in the bank. 
Yeah, health and wealth die. It's first person to die without having a home away from home. No, but, okay, we gotta solve the mystery of where on earth SSJ's... Oh, he's got them all stacked up in gateways. I guess? Got 88 probes. Got a million shuttles, which are taking up supply. But they allow you to do stuff like this, which is nice. There's lurkers in here too, killing Friday, but I think they're also doing damage to SSJ's units. So yeah, they're working together, but they're not friends. Yeah, see the Dragoons are attacking Pablo Escobar's Hydralisks here. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. So Friday's dead. He's getting triple teamed by the Ninja Pablo and SSJ, which is just not fair. But you know, sometimes it happens in free-for-all, sometimes it happens in 2v2 games. Doritos decides to show up with another attack against the ninja. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no. He tried to defensive matrix boxer maneuver his way across there, but there was a spore, so like it didn't, oh, maybe it did work out. Hold on. Nope, that didn't work. Still 101 drones after that attempt. It was a decent attempt. Maybe two science vessels next time to retoss. That would be cool. It'd be super, super awesome. So, huh. It looks like the ninja might... He's not going to die. He needs to bring some stuff home is what he needs to do. I like how Friday's sending science vessels out. He's like, I got to take a Zerg down with me. I'm going to box and maneuver the crap out of someone here. Ooh, the anti-air is gone here. Okay. Actually, a bunch of his... A bunch of his drones... No, actually, not that many. Not that many of his drones are up here, though. Turn around, Valkyries. Save. Yeah, kill the mutas. That's what you're there for. Kill los mutales. Hydra's here to fight. Defensive Matrix is up, too. Ah, Defensive Matrix making those tanks a little tankier. But is it enough to clear the, the the Terran out? I don't know that it is. I don't feel like it is, laddies. Oh, down to 22 drones after that hit. Somebody got it. 25, 23, 42. They shared the love there. Whoa! Million Ultralisks have arrived. Valkyrie's in the mix. Not quite sure what to do because 800 Ultras have just shown up to try to save the day. And they wipe out Doritos' army very handily. Turns out Ultralisk in huge numbers, pretty good. They have no attack upgrades, which means they're not as good as you'd like them to be. If they had attack upgrades, this would go a lot better for the ninja. It's going fine as it is. But, like, these are 3-3-3 three, three, three Dragoons, man. They've got armor, they've got attack upgrades. Oh, the Dark Swarm changes everything. And all the Dragoons die now, thanks to the power of the Dark Swarm. The first one? No, we've seen some, some earlier today. From the Ninja. The Valkyrie's here to massacre Overlords and Supply Block Ninja into next week. Or at least make a good faith effort into doing it. Building exit is blocked. I'm assuming that's going to be for SSJ. Hyder's checking to make sure that health and wealth is still dead and there's no one down there. There's no one down there. Siege tanks for uh, Doritos covering the opening of the base for SSJ. This might just be an SSJ and Doritos win. Holy smokes. The ninja's only at 50 total supply. Mass mutalisk. <laughs> has arrived, but the Valkyries are here. Why do you keep... Oh. Fight, fight hard, Mutalesks. You can do it. You're all in the dark purple. Okay, you're all dead. Valkyries working together with Archons and Storm. Nine kills, six kills. Valkyries getting it done here. And the counter push on the ninja, who is vulnerable. That was a smart choice. He's trying to rebuild drones when uh, he doesn't have the economy. He needs to rebuild drones. He did not have a choice to remax on army units there. So that is a problem for him. Can't eat meiosis on the way from Pablo Escobar. Maybe going to go 
some queens against this, but it sure seems like SSJ and Doritos are your winners, despite the fact, mind you, despite the fact that SSJ lost this entire main base. That was a terrible drop from Doritos. But hey, you can't win all the drops in fastest map. That's what I always say. At least the Hydras are 3 3, and the Lings don't have attack upgrades because, yeah. The Lings are not a bad answer here. They just don't have the upgrades they need to really compete. Also, there's a DT hanging out. He's got seven kills. Don't mind him. Hydra's coming in to try to save his buddy, but these tanks are distracting the reinforcements from going in. Oops, sniping Defiler. Smart play there for sure. And just nothing stopping the ninja from losing all of his hatcheries in his main base. He's got some hatcheries at the 12 o'clock, which is good. More Valkyries on the way. Production tabs have kind of gone empty at this stage of the game. As they do, as people max out or people don't have enough money to do much of anything, the ninja has under 100 minerals in his bank right now, which is not going to work out for him. Pablo's at 177 supply, but it's largely Hydras. He's making some Guardians. But remember, the Valkyrie count is pretty nuts. And they have 3-3 three, three upgrades, and the Guardians have 3-3 three, three upgrades, which means they're tanky, but... And then this is SSJ trying to get himself his own personal SCV, is my guess. He doesn't have the energy for it, but he'll try, because he's got mind control research. We saw that come through. I don't know that it's necessary for him to get up a 400-400 army, because the ninja is dead. And all I gotta kill is Pablo Escobar, and it's a 2v1, so you should be able to handle it, right? Alright, so here comes the Devourers. To protect the Guardians, to a certain extent. Where did the Valks oh, the Valks are here. And Pablo Escobar making a final stand to save his friend, the Ninja, here. Why are the Valkyries leaving? Uh, the, okay. Alright, well. I don't know where they're going, but all their tanks are going to die. because. Well, I guess the Guardians got stasis. That might work out. Huh. <laughs> hey, the Valkyries figured out they were needed for something. Hold on, tanks. We gotcha. After you lost seven of your friends, your best friends there, obviously. Tank drivers are always best of friends. And yeah, the ninja, he's supply blocked. He's down to 54 total supply. Hiders are here to protect the guardians as much as possible, but that did not go very well for them at all. Devourer's trying to assist. This is scrap. This is so much scrap, but by golly, it certainly feels like SSJ and Doritos have this thing in the bag. If the ninja is dead, and it sure seems like he is. He's got some money. He's not dead dead. It's, oh, wait, wait, wait. 148, 149, 150. That's 150 for mind control, right? Yep. Get it. Got it. Got it. Woohoo! Building a command center for additional supply. Excellent. Muy excelente. Yeah, so Pablo, he's trying to make this work with Hydras and Guardians and Devourers. He's making some Lurkers, but he's just fighting against two really big maxed out armies. And that just... 2v1 is never usually a fair fight, especially in a game like this where it sure seems like a fair fight. Seems like the teams are pretty even. I was talking crap on SSJ earlier, but he's getting work done. He came back from the absolute dead. And he's pushing hard here on Escobar with his upgrades. Tanks need to move on up. They need to come up here and help with this. Yeah, this Guardian stuff. Guardian stuff is so difficult for Guardians. They're just the squishiest.
Yeah, and the Ninja's final home away from home here. 12 o'clock they've had for some time. He's got 42 workers, but oh, never mind. He has 32 workers. He's got 16, 12 workers. Well, that's about it. I mean, he just popped out some lings to try to deal with these tanks again. They don't have attack upgrades. That would go better for them if they did, without a doubt. I don't even know what these hiders are trying to do. I guess trying to kill the final building of Fridays, but how much does that really matter? Okay, so Friday's eliminated. Finally ends up leaving the game. Alright, alright. So this is over. Mind control's a guardian, just for the lulls of it. A Maelstrom on these Hydras would be pretty cool. I don't know if he's researched Maelstrom. I didn't see that come through the production tab, but I don't have perfect awareness of what's going on in the production tab at all times. Bubbles at 163 supply. He's actually somehow out of money, which is crazy. There's a single Hydralisk from Pablo over here harassing the Valkyries and these Dark Archons that exist for some reason in Friday's base. I don't know why. Come back, Mouse. And that's it. Pablo leaves the game. Your winners in 52 minutes in a 2v2v2v2 are Doritos and SSJ2. Holy crap. Are you still going to kill stuff? You're still going to kill stuff. That's fine. You do that. You let me know how that goes for you, friends. Woof. SSJ has left the game. Doritos wants the beautiful feeling of a victory by killing Zerg buildings and enemy units that can't defend themselves. Insane. Like a truly, truly insane 2v2v2v2. It would have nice if I'd known it was a 2v2v2v2 to start, but there were some clues. I maybe could have figured out if I wasn't also under the weather. <sighs> but yeah, nice job. Taking down a two Zerg team is not easy. But you know, Siege Tanks and Valkyries work pretty well together. Against most of the stuff, it can get tossed out. Some more Dark Swarm might have been nice, but Pablo didn't seem to have the spell casting for that necessarily, which is rough, but hey, he had a pretty good game nevertheless. And Health and Wealth had a good game until he just got completely crushed. SSG got crushed and got reborn and turned into an amazingly strong, amazingly strong Protoss at the end there. So GG, well done to all three of these teams. And what do we got here? 669,000 points from Friday, 703,000 for the Ninja, 751 for SSJ, and 843 for Pablo Escobar. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ninja ended up losing 1,671 units. I said he'd be the one. Pablo at 1,000 as well. Everybody else in the hundreds, which is hilarious. And then total resources here. Pablo ends up spending the most at 212,000 resources spent. Number two is 195,000 from the Ninja. So yeah, the Zerg players did their best, but man, they lost so many units. They lost so many more units. Because they could. They had that many more. Awesome. Fantastic stuff. All right. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered and a fastest map ever on space. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.